town. Bennington had a trail fest. We had a lot of fun there. Quite a few hikers showed up. It was really nice. And last night when I got to Bennington, I went to check in at the recreation center. I was asking them about where to go camping. And a lady and a man were standing there, Lorna and Hamilton, and they said, well, come to our house. And sleep in our basement. So I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice so thank you that Hamilton's a through hiker and Lorna has hiked about 500 miles of the trail with him she's done the hard part the whites and uh, so that was really cool to stay at their house and I got to treat all my clothes with permethrin and all of my gear while I was there because it was nice and sunny so that's a plus maybe the bugs won't be quite so bad so now I'm heading north again. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. And the other side. That is beautiful. It's a little warm today, but it's cooler in the woods. You can just feel the cool air. Climb a mountain right off the bat. Heading up. Heading up. This is the easy side. The other side we came down was harder. So it's up and it's steep, but it's not as hard as coming down the other side. These steps are more doable, not as nine foot high person steps <laughs> Ooh, look at this These are fun. I think we may have gotten to the top. As it's a false summit, but at least it's a nice little rest area that's kind of flat, so I'll take it. <laughs> it's still hot today. It's about 83, but still better than it you know, could be in the summertime. Almost August, not quite. And the good news is we are getting cooler weather now. Today is like the last day in the 80s. It's going to be low 70s, I think, the rest of the week, and sunny, so we won't have to deal with as much mud and um, rain and everything. Today we are supposed to have thunderstorms, and I've heard some thunder rolling, but, and there's, you know, still mud, you can see all that. I'm trying to kind of go around it a little bit as much as I can because my shoes are dried out. But anyway, we are actually having a low of, are you ready for this, 38. <laughs> that would be so nice. I'm having problems sleeping because my sleeping bag is a 15 degree sleeping bag and I just don't want to spend another, you know, $400 or however much to get a 30 degree or 40 degree bag for summertime that'll keep me warm. Plus I'm getting up into 
cooler temperatures now in the north where, you know, temperatures can drop really low at night. So it wouldn't be safe to have a bag for that tent that wasn't, you know, wouldn't keep you warm enough. So I've got this 15 degree bag over me at night and I have to pull it off because I start sweating. And then I get cold when it's off. Then I have to pull it back on, <laughs> pull it back off. <laughs> So all night, that's what I'm doing. I wake up, I'm too hot. And I wake up, I'm too cold. <laughs> so last few weeks, I've not been sleeping as good as I used to sleep on the trail. So once the weather cools off a little bit, I will be sleeping good again. It'll be so nice. It was a false summit. But it was still a nice little break, a flat area. Still going up for a while after that. I think it's starting to rain. Just here, it's starting to hit the leaves. It doesn't hit us, though, under the trees for a while. But you can hear it starting. A little bit of a view through the power lines. Heading into the Glastonbury Wilderness Green Mountain National Forest. It's a flood. Late than never. I have no idea where to walk in this. It could be knee deep. <laughs> Shoes were clean and dry this morning. Well, yeah, this afternoon when I started. <laughs> Not anymore. Look at those things. Water's been clear up past my socks. Or the mud. I still have four miles of this to go to the sh to get to the shelter. <laughs> I may be camping in a stealth spot tonight instead of at the shelter. 
because it's starting to get a little dark. It's not all the deep mud, but a lot of it is. This is Vermud, and this is the long trail and the AT that we're on. So, this is just what it is, I guess. Slipping in mud. <laughs> sure are beautiful all these ferns but there's a reason for them <laughs> all this rain I guess ferns like moisture uh, here we go again more deep mud getting close to the shelter. I'll probably stay in the shelter just because of the rain. Oh, it's been a long day. Nine miles starting at around three. So that's a lot of walking. But I'm getting close. It's getting dark. It's 8.15, I think. It's getting dark earlier. I used to be able to walk till nine. But part of it is this dark forest, too. Dark under all these trees. 